Hey guys, what's up today? So you probably, um, the how to make scooter racks. So what you'll need is, um, a can, uh, with the top cut off. Doesn't have to be clean or anything. You'll need candles. Now I got a huge one. They're like pretty cheap. Uh, try to go for artificial wax. So if it likes like beeswax or organic wax, don't get that. The way you can tell is smacking them together. They kind of sound like a ping pong ball. That's how you know it's artificial wax. Then you'll want some crowns and uh, coconut oil. I have some in here. And then an ice cube tray. Let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is, um, so I have to do this outside because my mom doesn't want me ruining anything with the molten wax. So what you want to do is turn this on. and let it warm up and what you want to do is take your can put in the wax and just stick it in there what will that do is create a double boiling system so it will melt evenly okay so now while we wait this to melt down I'm gonna tell you guys about my new sponsors no just kidding just kidding that's just a prank cut just kidding, that, that was a prank. Anyways, um, while we wait for this to melt, uh, what you want to do is get a bit of coconut oil. And once it, oh, that's actually melting kind of fast. So it's starting to melt. And after it, the whole candle is melted, that's when you want to add your coconut oil. Then let it heat up a little more, and then we're going to add the crepe. Now the wax is all melted. So we can add our coconut oil. I'm not sure I'm going to do this. Now our coconut oil is slowly dissolving in there. So we're also going to break our crayon in half. And put it in there. And then we're going to put it back in the boiler. Oh, they're already dissolving. That's cool. Once you're confident that your wax is fully dissolved, you can... Take it out, shake off any water that's hot, and set it down. Now, it's probably going to be hot, so take like a pair of pliers and grab it and shake it around so all the dissolved color will mix a little better. Unless you want like color with like lines in it, that's fine. Now, the reason this is better than just your regular old wax candle is because um, it also has the added coconut oil and it has color which is great now I mean if you want to you can find a bigger mold but I'm gonna use an ice cube tray because I find that having smaller pieces of wax is more handy because then you don't have to carry like a lump of wax you can take like one small piece of wax to the skate park now a problem that some of you guys might have run into was that um, the wax would like bobble around and you were afraid that it's gonna spill in the water if you are afraid of that, then just take your pliers, let them kind of grab onto the edge right there, and then just rubber band it. And now you have two hands free. Well, one to hold the camera, two hands free. Out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So now that we have my second part of the second, like, part of wax melted, um, I hope it's fully melted. So, I'm going to turn off the boiler. Okay, pick it up. And let's go pour it. Now, as you can hear in the background, it's starting to rain, which is not good. So, I'm going to have to have it under this tree for safety purposes. Yeah, it came out in a weird blue. I don't know if it was supposed to do that. Well, you did mix colors. Yeah. Oh, the orange never melted. Interesting. I guess the orange wasn't like real brown or something. Okay. That's it. They all came out in different shades, which is kind of cool. So, this is it. Now we're going to let it dry up and test it soon. 
Now, to let it dry properly and actually pretty fast, um, it stopped raining now, so I'm just gonna take this. Take your, um, ice tray. Now, I still feel warm, because it's still, like, the outside is dry, but the inside isn't. So, we're gonna, oh, pretty much what we're gonna do is put it in the freezer for about half an hour to, like, I don't know. 15 minutes to half an hour, then we put it in the fridge for another 5 minutes so it doesn't get sudden shock from the changing temperature. Actually, yeah, and then we'll take it out. Bye bye! Hello. Goodbye. Okay, so now is your best time to take them out because now they are frozen, so which means they're shrunk because when something froze, frozen it gets smaller. So it's just a tiny bit smaller than the um, actual mold, which is good because that means we should just be able to take it upside down and take them out. Oh my goodness, that's, that's almost perfect. And this last one. And now we have all these amazing waxes. So now I'm going to test out this wax. Um, Daniel, he came, so which which color should I pick? Um, let's go with lightest green. Okay. So guys, here's just a warning. This wax is actually so slippery that just try going one by one layer, so just take, put it on, and just go down once the first time, and see how much that changes. If it doesn't change much, you can keep on going until you like it, but it's actually pretty slippery. It's recording now. Okay. Okay. The wash is so slippery that I can't, like, whoa. Oh, wow, dude. That's only Sweet. one, that's only one slice, and I'm like, like barely making it because it's so slippery. I can do a burst. Oh, nice try, but okay. So that's not perfect, that. but at least good. That's my wax. This is Christian, and I'm out.